CSRQ-SM scam alert. First and foremost, um, we're not talking about the main thing that I suspect may be a scam. We're talking about something that almost absolutely is a scam. Uh, from the We Are Sovereign Twitter account, warning, an agent has attempted to create fake accounts in our name mimicking us and was found posting false and misleading information on Twitter and elsewhere. Beware of copycats. If you notice anything suspicious, let us know. I have not verified whether or not We Are Sovereign and Oculum Labs is 100% a scam. While I suspect that it may be, uh, especially when you relate it to or compare it to the Guardians of the Looking Glass and the Raindrop Dow um, situation, we'll say, I believe it may be. That is besides the point. This guy here is almost guaranteed to be a scam. CSRQ-SM or at CSRQSM on uh, Twitter is saying that they're a system analyst and a whistleblower. And then they list you a, uh, a Bitcoin tip jar. Now, you can see, as I said before, the, um, the screens are easy to Photoshop. The uh, this one actually looks very very similar to what the the other team released. Colors are a little bit off. It's hard to color match when you're going directly as opposed to taking a screenshot of a photo. However, oh they have a new tweet up. Let's see what they have. Oh Hillary D R Clinton. Um, you see there are inconsistencies here between uh this guy's. What I'm saying are probably photoshopped images and the actual images that are also probably photoshopped and easily photoshopped from um, We Are Sovereign and the Oculum Labs website. You see, this says Glenn Lee Beck. This has middle initials. The colors, you have to, you have to consider variance between taking a photo of your screen with your phone uh, as, as opposed to directly screen capturing. But... There is something that's just a little bit off. Another thing to pay attention is look at the spacing between the sovereign and the S in parentheses here versus the sovereign and S in parentheses here. The spacing is not quite right. It's hard to tell for sure, but it looks as though the drop shadows are a little bit off, but again, hard to tell. The spacing is the big, uh, the big red flag for me. Um, one thing that I thought stood out is the difference between, you see, Glenn Lee Beck versus Hillary D.R. Clinton, Barack H. Obama, Donald J. Trump. Um, I thought that was an inconsistency between uh, the real site and the uh, the fake Twitter account. However, they, they do have um, middle names, but then they also have initials which is actually more of an inconsistency with their uh, their design in Oculum Labs than it is uh, across the what almost guaranteed is a scammer and what I suspect is a scam. So look out. Don't give money to, uh, to any parties in any of this. Now let's get into the main story. There are many, many claims that, uh, that Oculum Labs is being uh, censored and shadow banned. In their first email alert, they said that they are being shadow banned on band.video. Um, let's see, where is that? So their email alert basically says the cabal is coming for them. Um, and actually, that may not be it. Um, they are they're inviting people to send them emails to get in. Um, <clears throat> they want... Oh, there it is. Other alt media sites are banning us. Uh, this has happened on Alex Jones's website and Mike Adams Brighteon and many other Telegram groups. They are they're cutting out the uh, the people in uh, in the CSRQ SM. We're we're being censored, ladies and gentlemen. And in case you needed more uh, proof of that claim, we have. Um, we have We Are Sovereign's official Twitter account saying we are now officially shadow banned on YouTube for comments. Our comments do not show up. We have tried to thank those who are covering us like Alaska Prepper, but we are not able to do so. Number one, um, I said, until you post an unedited video of you making a comment and it not being there, everyone should assume you're lying. They decided to respond, why would we lie about something like that? 
Jussie Smollett. That's why. We are trying to post comments on videos from content creators who support us. Why would we not uh, that want to be seen? It's frustrating that we cannot have our comments posted. Listen, Michael, it's very simple. Jussie Smollett. So I responded with, so prove that your comments are getting deleted. Take a video. As for why someone would lie, there are any number of reasons people lie about being a victim. Extraordinary claims require proof. They said uh, they're not being deleted. They simply do not show up. We can make an attempt to demonstrate this. By the way, they have not made such an attempt. Uh, To which I respond, please do. There are a number of innocuous reasons that comments don't show up. For example, I ban links from posting in my comment section. It goes to a place for me to review. Everybody who posts a link in my comment sections, even if they are an approved user, still has that sent to be reviewed. Maybe you posted something in there that uh, that the channel you're commenting on wants to review first before it gets automatically posted. That's an innocuous reason. On to the Intel drop. Number one, they say we've gotten the attention of the cabal. Uh, That's Intel drop number five. This is basically um, saying they've escalated to another level. They're coming after us. The walls are closing in, ladies and gentlemen. They go into some detail about how they're being censored. Um, If they were being censored, they would not have reached what they claim to be a million views, although I suspect it's considerably less. Not that it's easy to... uh, to count or capture at this point because they have uh, they have their information all over the place. Um, and then they go into detail about what the system is going to look like, how it's going to be a terrible world if you are not sovereign. Um, and uh, and then some some information about uh, how the economy is going to work, which they continue in drop number six, huge USDR inflows seen. They put a lot of effort into that USDR system and uh, and talking about it, while also saying that it has nothing to do with any crypto or any USDR tokens or stock symbols that currently exist. Um, they, uh, they say, people are asking me where we can find the USDR blockchain. Uh, Gideon replies, it's not public, it's classified. That kind of thing won't be anything uh, even some of the best hackers can find. Bill says, but they're saying to me, let's hire some hackers. Gideon says, that's like saying, let's hack the CIA. Forget it. If it could be done, it would be done. Says the guy who runs White Hat Hackers who have exposed the rest of this system. And uh, the hackers have somehow survived being um, being in the system, working for the cabal, while also being whistleblowers and not been murdered. Uh, Bill asked, is this why crypto inflows go to dead wallets? Um, remember, they're saying that they need the inflows from the elite, from the, uh, the, the people and the sovereigns to go into their accounts before the current economy collapses, setting up to let you know that we're going to be in communism, ladies and gentlemen, and the only way to survive is to be a sovereign. Uh, Bill says, uh, or Gideon says, Bill, you might want to take a step back and explain uh, that if this is going, or explain that if this is going to be in your blog. Um, Bill says, right, when the inflows come in, you send crypto to an address and it just sits there. There's nothing we can glean from that. I did that and we looked at the address, but we can't learn anything from it. Gideon says, no, you can't. It's very smart how they're doing this. When the sovereigns are sending in crypto to get USDR, the crypto goes to a newly generated address and there's no way to find out who created it, where it was created, nothing. And then they go into that 1 to 43 ratio that everybody seems to be obsessing about apparently and i haven't had the chance to dig in deeply yet but that one to 43 ratio was big in the raindrop dow uh situation and notice they have the magic computers which was also in the raindrop dow situation um gideon says we're talking about uh how many people we've reached it's around a million people who have seen this information by now but they need they need to get to 50 million everybody I've looked at their uh, 
their analytics on YouTube, not their analytics, their their uh, page views on YouTube, because that's all I can see is front end, obviously, because I don't have access to their channel. Um, they say that's really good, but we can't slow down. Keep pushing people to read, learn, and then engage. Bill says I'll do my best, but uh, it's overwhelming. I've been or I've been spent physically and mentally this past week. Uh, we talked about this, but I guess I want people to know. Uh, you think I'm being uh, electronically attacked? Gideon says the cabal loves to electronically gang stalk people and ruin their lives. Bill is a victim, ladies and gentlemen. It happens all the time, but they don't know where you are. Bill, they can't find you, so I'm not sure. Uh, it could just be the information is bringing you down. Be sure to rest well and take time off. Bill says, I'm trying to. Uh, what if they find me? That's setting it up because one of the events that uh, that needed to happen or be prevented in Raindrop Dow was that Doctor Wu had to be uh, they had to be saved from being assassinated. So you can see the timeline is playing out very similar here. One of the theories that I have thought of, and I'm not the only person to have done so. I have seen it elsewhere. Is that they take the element of truth? That is, we are seeing. Um, an economic downturn, potentially some um, some major economic problems, food shortages, all of that. We have evidence that the, the World Economic For Forum did genuinely talk about the Great Reset. That's their truth. They come in and say, it's absolutely happening. We have the mirror of Erised or whatever the hell that is, the looking glass, that has told us these things are going to occur, and we need to prevent them, and here's how. And then they come in and say, look, here's the software that they are going to use to escalate their great reset. We're on the inside, and look, everybody you like, everybody you follow, everyone you thought was on your side is actually against you. You cannot trust them. You can only trust us. And then, at some point, you will get an email or a message in Telegram or something that is very, very urgent. You need to give us your name, uh, your social security number, who knows? Who knows exactly what it is? Um, but the time is very short. We're going to make you sovereign. You're going to be one of the five to ten people that is going to be made sovereign. And the theory that I've seen floated about, that I thought of as well, is that inner, inner circle that is going to be the few people, the five to ten people that is going to be listed as sovereign. There may potentially be a dozen or more of those inner circles that is going to be isolated from everyone else. So everyone in those groups is going to think that they are the only ones in the inner circle. And all of them are going to transfer their data, their, uh, their whatever it is, <clears throat> into USDR or whatever the end plan ends up being. And, um, and then... Bill's going to get killed. Gideon's going to get killed. All in quotes. They'll disappear like Dr. Wu did in Raindrop Dow. That is one of the theories. Again, this is a theory. I'm not saying that it's actually going to happen this way because I don't know for sure. I can't predict the future because I don't have the looking glass, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but that is one of the theories being floated about how this is going to work. And... Uh, it is a distinct possibility, for sure. Another another possibility is they just keep stringing people along, and then nothing ever happens, and they say, here's how we saved the world from the Great Reset by our book. That could be another way around it. The first seems to be uh, a little more plausible because it's not that different from the phone scams you get uh, that guys like Scammer Payback expose and go after. Um, the phone scam centers from India. Uh, it's that... that Dire emergency, the insider that is the, your only friend and there to help you, and it's an emergency. You have to do it right now, otherwise we can't solve the problem. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Then head over to the Locals page, ridgedalebrand.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.